Got dead. Pull out of. Drop something. Thanks. Got it? Okay. Okay, today we are doing something really unique, something I have had very little experience with, um, and that is, well, I'm gonna show you. Um, it, it's pretty cool, I've had some experience. We're gonna get a better detail of it right now. Here in, we are currently at Alaska Shooting Specialties, and uh, this is gonna be kind of a unique experience, so let's go. Brandon. Wow. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, how are you guys doing? We're doing good. Doing good. What can I help you with? Well, I I guess I just I want to learn a little bit more about air guns. I heard that they're really kind of becoming the rage. I've got a couple at home, but nothing like this. So Wait. what can you tell me about these? You have come to the right place. That's Perfect. what I can tell you. Perfect. Now and we, your name is? I'm David. I'm sorry. David. I'm David. Phyllis. I'm Adam. Phyllis, good, good to, to meet, meet you. you. Adam, good to meet you. Um, like I said, you've come to the right place. We are creating an air gun family here. Um, we carry almost everything that you can possibly get. If you can't, uh, if I don't have it, I can get it within days. Um, I guarantee my prices and I also am here for you. Uh, not 24 seven, but I'm, I'm here for you. And uh, I'm, you know, you don't have to work with somebody off the internet or send it back off the internet. You know, I'm here to help you, keep you safe, teach you how to use these guns Perfect. and and go from there. Okay, now all I know about air guns is, is what I learned growing up and there was BB guns and there was 17 caliber. But this is a sample of, of what we can shoot here? What kind this, of different caliber? This, these are samples of what different types of bullets that can be sh shot. This one isn't. Um, this is a 72 caliber and it belongs to Zeus. This is a 457 caliber. This is a 30 caliber. This is a uh, shot out of a special gun by Seneca. Um, it shoots different size, actually different size shots. And they also come in different different um, little packages. You can buy them in little packages empty and you can fill them with whatever you want to fill them with. Oh, so okay. you not only can do that with that particular gun, you can shoot arrows out of it and you can shoot 50 caliber ammo out of it. So do you have an example of one of those here? Extremely versatile. Let me show you one. This is a Seneca. And I put an arrow inside of it just to show that this is a gun that can shoot arrows. And then here is where you would load your 50 caliber ammo, okay. or you could put your bird shot inside there as well. But they not only do they have a single shot one, which is very affordable, they have the double shot, which is essentially a 50 caliber side by side shotgun, moose wow. gun, whatever you want gun. No. And it'll shoot two, it'll shoot two arrows. As well. What is the, the status of legally being able to hunt with something like that? Well, right now, Alaska Shooting Specialties is working with the state of Alaska. We have had the heads of the Department of uh, Fish and Game out here for almost a full day okay. of giving them an example of air guns. They are very pro air gun now. So we are going to be putting in legislation and we will be able to hunt large game dangerous game in the state of alaska with the right caliber air gun you know we don't want to go out there with this 30 caliber little pellet gun and go shoot a black bear or a brown bear and and uh, uh just make just him mad make him mad and, yeah and find, find you know find people in pieces because of air guns what, what i'm used to is the guns they either pumped up or they took a co2 cartridge how did these work it is a totally different world these days. And like this gun here, this is an this is an example of an AEA uh, HP backpacker. Um, what you how you you fill this tank here to its maximum pressure, four thousand five hundred psi, and you fill that off of either a bottle, another larger bottle that I, like I have sitting back there, or you fill it off of a small compressor. Um, or 
like I said, you buy a bottle, you come back and see me and I fill the bottle up for you for free and you go on and you can shoot as much as you like. In the lower 48, almost every state has taken on uh, people using air, air guns. And hopefully we can get an actual a hunting season for air guns like they have black powder. So maybe, maybe that might be in the works as well. I don't know until I actually get to talk with Eddie Grasser. He's in charge of uh, conservation here in the state of Alaska. Now I notice um, these rounds that you're shooting, these are just, that's just straight lead? Yeah, 100% lead. You do not want to shoot anything that is not 100% lead. You, you know, we have velocities and, and uh, high velocity air guns that are pushing these out through rifle chambers and they're pushing them out very tight. And so the, if there is anything else on here besides lead like ammonium or tin or anything else, you know, you buy these stuff to buy the stuff off the internet. You never know what you're getting unless you're dealing with the right people like Mr. Hollow Point. He, uh, I get a, a lot of ammo from him for hunting purposes. If you're going to be hunting, he will be the guy that is going to be supplying my hunting ammo. Um, I know it's a hundred percent lead. Uh, there's a way we can test. And if they're not a hundred percent lead, you can get a really bad surprise. Um, the gun could completely discharge all of its air at one time, and that is not a very fun thing. Um, when so we're talking right. about something like this, releasing all 4,500 PSI of its air at one time through this little bitty hole here, it's not something that you want to be experience. Right. So you mentioned the you call that a backpacker. Does it is, it, is there something special about it? That well, this is the HP. This is more of the but this is the HP backpacker. They call them the H backpacker because it just folds up into something just really small and tight, and you can put it like a holster that this thing can be carried in. Oh wow. Um, you, I don't carry them, um, but it's something I could start carrying depending on depending on uh, client demand. Yeah, this little thing right here, uh, 30 caliber or 25 caliber um, for small game, it is just absolutely incredible. Uh, something like this, very affordable gun. It's called an Avenger. And I have a Donnie FL suppressor on the front of it right at this time, but they make it in a wood and it's synthetic stock. This is synthetic stock, very light. Anything else that has the ability of this gun, you would be paying thousands of dollars for. This gun right here will shoot a half inch group, maybe three quarter inch group at 50 yards without a problem. With the suppressor on it, it's movie quiet. This is a really great gun and I can get these on demand. I usually have them in stock. We also have 30 caliber fully automatic blitz. That is one of the most amazing things that I have actually come in contact with in my 54 years. They have been waiting for something like this. This is a 30 caliber fully automatic and semi-automatic uh, air gun and it'll shoot up to 160 rounds of air out of it with just one fill. We use it in the machine gun society. We have shot, uh, we have actually shot um, shows, not shows, I'm sorry. We shot competition with these. They shoot, actually shoot and down in the lower 48, we shoot two by they shoot two by two by fours and a half with them at 50 yards. Um, just absolutely, you you just have such a large, broad, wide selection of guns in the air gun industry that you normally don't have. So here's the blitz, and I want to make sure that you know everything there is to know about this gun. I uh, also want to show you how to fill it up. So now you see how it's going up? Yep. You don't want to get it too much past that red. You want, as soon as you get to that red line, you want to start shutting your bottle off, okay? Okay. So, one, turn the bottle off, and then you have your relief valve here. Okay. Because you never pull it out. If I pulled this out right now, it would have 300 bars, 
and it would actually send my hand probably across here and whip me in the face or something. So you don't want that to happen. So you release the pressure here, which is a lot of pressure, and then you pull it out, okay? And you ready to go, Phyllis? Yeah. Okay, right. let's do this. We already went through the fire and safeties and everything else, and you know what to do on it. Pick, pick your target. Right, yeah. There you go. There you go. So it's That's it. Fired. That's good. And now you just have to take your safety off. There you go. Short burst. Oh, <laughs> knocked it down. All right, you're out, so you do this. Flip this back, push it up. Take this magazine, turn it around. I don't know what I hit, but I you hit You hit the bottle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Phyllis. Okay, there's something else over there's there. One I don't more know. white bottle. There is. There's something hanging there. There you go. Now I'm warm. What do you think? Yeah. That's, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Because it's not loud, it doesn't kick, it does have a bit of a rise. It which... does rise a little bit. It yeah. does rise a little bit. Could you go over this piece of history right here? Yes. Please. This is a uh, complete Mark V now. Okay. Uh, Sten Mark V. This is what helped win World War II. This is the bayonet that goes to it, which you don't need to shoot it. Not something that I would particularly want to use. No. no it kind of looks like a giant nail. Yeah. So that would be something that I would assume they would have to sneak up on somebody and, and utilize it. Well. In this cold, sometimes we have malfunctions. And it is very, very, very cold out here right now. Yes, it is. So, let me try this once again. Oh, there we go. Here, now you can. Got dead. Pull out of. You're done. Nice. <laughs> nice. You did hit it a few times. Yes, you did, and well, that's pretty damn good at 50 yards. Yeah, once I got used to the sights, then I can. All right. Oh, so sure. we're not going to we always assume that guns are loaded. So we want to make sure that they're pointed in the safe direction always. We'll pull the magazine out. We know we're on safe. And we're good to go. Perfect. Awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. Only at Alaska Shooting Specialties. Alaska Air Guns. Check out the site on YouTube. Alaska Air Guns. And follow us, please. We need your support. Not only to uh, have support for the air guns. We need your support to be able to get the laws in place to be able to hunt uh, in Alaska with a viable means of actually taking game for people that uh, want to and it's a new sport so thank you very much and don't forget as always to like and subscribe and at the end of this video we'll include a link to his site and to his shop where you can come out and you can see what he's got for yourself love you bye <laughs> <laughs>